everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Claire and for everyone else hello and welcome back so today's video is something I've been wanting to try for the longest time I had some skulls given to me by a friend of mine called Dan at CDA wood turning like a year ago and I've been saying I'm gonna mold them I'm gonna mold them finally last week I made a mold of the skulls that he gave me I didn't film this because I've done a mold video before but this one worked out a lot better and I figured I'd go neon so I ordered myself some neon pigment from Resinate and oh oh <laughs> look at these look at these <laughs> bit excited love this one I'm gonna stop talking if you want to see how I made them then uh yeah carry on watching I'll see you at the end <laughs> bye yeah this is what we're going to be working with today and I'm so excited. I want to try, if I can, to make a dam here so that I can do the hats in one colour and the face in another colour. I don't know if it's going to work but I'm going to try and the detail in these, oh, it's just incredible. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Right, so first things first is the dam. Now I've cut some acetate this is actually laminate i just put a sheet of laminate through my laminator my idea is to cut a circle that will fit in here or a smaller one that will just fit on the edge here and i'm going to use hot glue so hot glue will hold it in place but the hot glue won't stick to the silicon so it well it will but it won't you know you can peel it off oh that's the plan i'm so nervous I'm Okay, I've cut three. You can see that I've slotted them in there. Now, the tricky bit for me is to get that hot glue in without, um, well, just to get the hot glue in. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do now. Excuse the, hopefully you can see the angles because it's a bit tricky if I'm putting this in there too. Um, oh, okay, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. See what happens. Never tried this before, so. Right, there they are, all three done. Looks messy, but you can get the principle. I've just created the three dams so that I can have different colour hats to different colour faces. This is so scary because I've never tried this before, but resin is not the kind of product that you can just practice and practice and practice. You have to learn as you go because it's so expensive. But yeah, they are solid, solid, solid. So first thing to do is pour the hats. I knew what I wanted. I wanted black top hats and neon. Look at these. <laughs> I just purchased these from Resin 8 not long ago, a couple of weeks ago they arrived. Guys, look at these colours. They are ridiculously amazing. So, black top hats, neon skulls. I've got my mask on and this one I can already see is leaking the other two aren't but this one yeah we have a dam burst but I'm gonna leave them I'm gonna this is just a trial hopefully it works and they're still amazing I'm gonna leave the room now take my mask off and come back in 24 hours I am back 24 hours later and I'm so happy to report that these two worked. This one, when I finished filming, I could see the black leaking out through the hot glue. So I just lifted the dam up and allowed it. So I filled this up with black and this one is done. 
Now that looks pretty cool. I'm loving it. So these two. Now I've already removed this one. I was worried that the um, laminate would stick, but it's come away quite happily. Um, and now I just have to remove it from this one like so and put this back in now the hope is now that the pink when i put the neon in that it won't leak through there but yeah so my next plan of action is to mix up some neons i'm going to do a neon pink and a yellow and then just use these i'm almost out of resin guys so i have to order some more um but what i've got left i'm going to fill these two up first then do these and then if I've got any left, I'll just fill this one up. that is it so my biggest worry is that the neon is gonna blend into the black here i've still got some bubbles here to get rid of look at these bubbles but i'm gonna torch those now come back tomorrow hey everyone so it is still sunday i didn't give it 24 hours i just came up and kind of checked and it is now um six o'clock sunday evening and i did this first thing this morning and i gave it a bit of a bit of a go and it's ready to come out i wouldn't say it's cured it's definitely not cured that takes 24 hours but i'm gonna do it right now no you know me i cannot wait okay let's do this now if anyone's out if anyone out there has never done resin before this is not ideal you really want to leave it 24 hours um to demold but i've done this which means they're already you know they're free of the silicon and i i can't wait any longer so when i flip them out i'm just going to leave them flat until they fully cure and uh, here goes. Let's see. Oh, yes, look at this. Love it. Oh, yes. Love. And also what you don't want to do, which is what is possibly going to happen here, but I'll try not to, is that you're going to get fingerprints. If they're too soft and not ready, you will, you'll leave your fingerprints on them. And you don't want that. So I'm being very gentle. These are seriously cool the colours. Right, I'm leaving best till last. Oh, look at that. Aren't these colours just absolutely what? Okay, let's see if this has worked. Let's see if this has worked. <gasps> ah! <laughs> it's it's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. The black hat and the neon skull could not have gone any better oh my now the last one i'm pulling it out by the hat because the hat is actually two days old now so i know i'm not gonna leave any prints on that <gasps> okay so we did get some leakage from the yellow but what look at that that is about as neon as it gets. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. You can see where it leaked underneath. So what I'll do, because I don't know if I'll be able to get that off. And it's no biggie if I can't. It's still absolutely gorgeous. But I'll have a go. When this is cured a little bit longer, I'll have a go at just trimming this off. And see if I can 
fix it up but guys look at these these are they're just exactly what i envisaged i my camera is not picking up the neon pink on this but it's exactly what i envisaged it's exactly what i wanted so i am absolutely chuffed to bits with these just absolutely chuffed to bits let me know what you think again i know the cameras look it's got glare on here i know it might be hard for you guys to see but please let me know how cool you think these are or not you might not but um oh yeah the fact that i made the mold um myself created these myself yeah i'm in love i mean actual love i can't stop staring at them okay calm down claire right guys i'm gonna go and scream a little bit and, and like do a happy dance and um i think neon might be my new favorite um favorite way forward i think this is my absolute favorite but yeah boom success i'm gonna stop talking now and i will see you all in my next video if you do if you've made it to the end well done if you do want to see me create a mold of these skulls let me know i can show you what i've done how i did it and um yeah because it's more successful this time and i will see you all in the next video love you guys thank you so much bye